all of this drama. No, he's not. He's not worth it at all. A matter of fact, um, let me say this straight up and down. I think Kyrie Irving should retire. I think he should announce his retirement today. Clearly, you don't want to play basketball bad enough. Now, you might still want to get the $33.4 million, obviously, uh, devoid of uh, some of the docked pay you'll receive because uh, you've, you haven't complied with uh, safety protocol measures. And as a result, the league is going to determine when you come back instead of yourself uh, or taking personal leave and obviously forfeiting game checks or whatever the case may be. But still in all, at the end of the day, you know what? You're still going to get, you know, in excess of $20 million at the very least, even though you're on the books of $33.4 million this year. Kyrie Irving has has not prioritized basketball. I'm not saying he doesn't want to play all, all, all together. I'm saying he hasn't prioritized it. And how fair is that to the Brooklyn Nets? How fair is that to Sean Marks? How fair is that to Steve Nash, a coach that he endorsed bringing on board, a coach that he wanted, a coach that he fully supported? How fair is that to his brother, Kevin Durant? Now, we can sit up there and say what we want about Kevin Durant, temperamental and all this stuff. This brother is a superstar and answers the call the way superstars are supposed to answer the call. Whenever he can play, he does play. That's who Kevin Durant is. He loves playing the game of basketball. He can play it for a lot of money because he's so great he commands it, or he'd play for free. But he'll, he'll play anywhere because that's who he is. Kyrie Irving clearly is not interested in doing that, and that's the problem. So guess what? Take, go ahead and retire. Go ahead and retire until you know that you're committed to playing. And the reason why I seemed a bit perturbed and a bit disgusted by all of this is because Kyrie Irving, this is what's going on right now. There's a lot of stuff that's been happening in this world over the last few months, as we all know. Social justice issues and beyond, and we get that. And Kyrie Irving's heart is in the right place. He wants to do a lot of things for the community. He wants to do things to uplift the community, to address some of the concerns, the things that have ravaged our communities for many, many years. He wants to do all of that. In that regard, his heart is in the right place. He's philanthropic. He's very charitable with his time, with his donations, and things of that nature. Just the other day, we saw him on the phone with some um, some congressional figure. I don't know who it was. I'm sorry. I don't have it in front of me, but clearly trying to address some of the concerns that are ailing our society and our community. We understand that. Here's the problem that I have. He acts like he can't chew gum and, and, and walk at the same time. You can do that after you fulfill your duties or in the midst of fulfilling your duties. Just because you want to do all of those other things does not mean that you can't show up to work and just show up and earn your paycheck. This dude signed four years, $141 million. Last year, he played 20 games. He made a whole bunch of noise and hoopla about how the players shouldn't participate in the bubble during the postseason. A bubble, by the way, that he wasn't going to be able to participate in because he had right shoulder surgery. But still, he was making noise. And then went against Chris Paul and the Players Association, Chris Paul, Andre Iguodala, and all of those boys without even letting them know or giving them a heads up as to what he was going to do. He just bucked the whole system and decided that he wanted to do things his way. Then he comes into this season. Now that KD is healthy, okay? He still doesn't have his legs out, or, you know, his legs together or whatever. KD is still getting in the game shape. He's still getting his game back and averaging 27, 28 a game. This is who this dude is. Surreal. Big time. Just elite. Future Hall of Famer. Two-time champion. Two-time NBA Finals MVP. And we all know that the Brooklyn Nets would not have wanted Kyrie Irving had it not been for Kevin Durant. So if you're Kevin Durant, obviously you had to vouch for this brother. You had to insist on this brother being there with you. You had to want him the way Kawhi Leonard wanted Paul George. That's what you did with Kyrie Irving. And Kyrie Irving repays you and repays the Nets organization by skipping games for personal reasons. You're violating safety protocols. I know you were dancing with your sister Asia, and I get all of that, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. But the times that we're living in, you know the last thing you need to be caught doing is being in a crowd of people without a mask on. You know that's going to raise red flags. It's going to make the NBA step in. Uh, safety protocols and measures are going to obviously be discussed and probed and whether or not you violated them. You know all of this stuff. You don't care. You don't mind missing games or anything. So guess what? This is what Kyrie Irving is saying. Basketball is not a priority to me. 
Nobody, Karis LeVert, Kevin Durant, Allen, Joe Harris, Steve Nash, Mike D'Antoni, and the rest of the coaching staff, Sean Marks. None of them deserve this. The owner, Josiah, he doesn't deserve this. Nobody deserves this. Kyrie Irving, until you want to play, you should retire, forfeit every penny you make, retire, and go do what you want to do. In regards to these issues that are clearly most important to you until you are ready to play. And my last point, Max, is saying this. If you know anything about Kyrie Irving, one of the people he loved, and I hate to bring this up, but it's unavoidable. One of the people he loved so dearly was the late, great Kobe Bryant. Kyrie loved this man, and he loved Kyrie, okay? This is a person that you respect and wanted to emulate. If you know anything about Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant had a multitude of interests. He was always doing something. Missing games, when healthy, was not one of them. No matter what Kobe was doing, no matter what, even if he wasn't necessarily 100%, he didn't miss games. This is ridiculous. And, 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 and you know what? He just needs to retire. He just needs to retire. That's a sobering sentiment, Stephen A., and I, and, and I respect where you're coming from. And, and as far as Kyrie is concerned, you brought up Kobe. Um, Kobe Bryant had a lot of interest. Kobe Bryant won an Academy Award after he stopped playing basketball. But right. the odds that Kobe Bryant would ever be as good at anything as he was at playing basketball were virtually zero, and not because he wasn't very talented. Obviously, he, was, he got an Academy Award um, for producing that piece. But, but when you're that good at anything, it's, it's, it's unlikely you'll be ever that good at anything else. One of the best who ever did it in an incredibly competitive industry that's played around the world for decades and decades and decades now. Kyrie Irving's physical prime is fleeting. It's a fleeting thing. It's not going to last forever. He has right now to accomplish whatever he wants to accomplish in basketball. And as you would think the rest of his life to do everything else. And it's not even as you said that he can't walk and chew bubblegum at the same time. He can but you're absolutely right in that his focus, one would think right now, should be basketball because the reason the public is interested in Kyrie, I don't mean the people who love him and his family and his friends, I mean the general public, the reason we're talking about him on TV is because he is so great at playing basketball. That's why we're interested. He's phenomenal. And when you think about another guy who came out around the same time, around the same age, played the same position, and we used to, people used to, there used to be a debate four or five years ago, who's better? Kyrie or Damian Lillard? Lillard, just a little bit older. And Kyrie, the truth be told, is more talented and more skillful. You'd rather have Damian Lillard. He's a more valuable player. And Kyrie, if his no. legacy as an athlete is important to him, maybe it's not. Well, if it is, he needs to consider that. Well, Max, you, 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 you're saying something in a roundabout way that I'll say more directly. Kyrie is not good. He is sensational. He is box office to, to watch you walk through the He's turnstiles and pay your hard-earned money to see the kind of show that this brother can put on on any given night. And what you're saying, Max, in a roundabout way that I'm going to say more directly, knowing he has box office appeal, knowing he has greatness in him, and now a championship pedigree with a championship roster, he doesn't seem to care. He doesn't seem to care enough about his teammates. He doesn't seem to care enough about the organization. He doesn't seem to care enough about the game of basketball, the NBA brand. He doesn't seem to care about the fans who are starving to see him perform. Because just because you get to see the greatness of LeBron and, and Bradley Beal and Kevin Durant and Steph Curry and Russell Westbrook and all of these brothers doesn't take away from your desire, your zest to see the greatness of, Ka of Kyrie Irving. He's that special. One thing, and though. he's not. And, and by the way, he's not a bad guy. His heart is in the right place. The problem is, is that it's kind of uppity of the concerns I have are bigger than any concerns y'all have. 
Y'all should know that. Y'all should realize that. Vibe with me and flow with me. But you peons don't understand. You don't comprehend how deep this goes. So guess what? That's your problem. I'm just going to do what I do. But, but, but the $33.4 million, at least a chunk of it, make sure you give me that too. It does not work that way. That is not yeah. the real world. And you cannot continue to do but, what but Kyrie Irvin has here. been doing. You can't do it. But, but he does have some leverage here, Stephen A. That's the reality. Because as I pointed out um, earlier in the show, in the first segment, okay, it is true. Ky- Kyrie Irving, it is true, has made teams worse. <laughs> He's made, with all his skill and talent, somehow the Celtics were better off without him. I mean, in the same season, if he got hurt, they performed better. Same thing well, Cleveland wasn't better off year. without him. But as you pointed out, well, they, they did better. Their record was better. Both in the, I'm talking about playoff, regular season and playoffs. They were better without Kyrie than with him. That's like a statement of fact. Go back and look. It's mind-boggling. However, as you pointed out, when he was with LeBron, and he was clearly not the alpha, right? He was, at least in terms of the play on the court, the second option, he won a championship. And when you look at the Nets right now, without Dinwiddie in particular, and with KD already playing on the level he's playing, if the Nets have championship aspirations this season, and they should, I believe they do, they do need Kyrie Irving. When Dennis Rodman would miss the team bus or whatever, would go to Vegas, he would get away with it because he was a great player and the team needed him. Kyrie can get away with some of this stuff because he's a great player and the team needs him. And, and it's complicated because he can also make teams worse. But if you, have, if you want a shot to win this thing this year and the Nets have one, they need Kyrie Irving. Well, let me say this to you. When you sit up there and you say that Kyrie has more leverage than we think, let's highlight why that is, Max Kellerman. It's because of the support of KD. That's the only reason Kyrie has any leverage. There is no other reason. If KD, which he would never do, I don't think KD would ever do this. He loves Kyrie, okay, and respects him. I don't, and KD's not that kind of dude. I, but if KD sat up there and said, yo, man, this ain't good for the organization. I'm sorry. I can't sign off on this. Y'all do what y'all got to do. All Kyrie Irving's leverage goes right out the window. All of it. No, but th- that's so right. let's, let, uh, that's let's make right. sure that, that that's where his leverage lies. Yeah. That, that, that's well, one part of it. You're right. And KD can override whatever other leverage he has. However, okay. if they want to win a championship, especially without Dinwiddie, Allen and Levert and these guys ain't enough. They need more. And Kyrie is more. So there is that leverage, too. And that may be one of the reasons <laughs> KD wouldn't do that other than the personal relationship. Okay. All right. Yeah, the Nets, they're four and three with Kyrie on the court, two and three without him. Now, there's drama in Brooklyn. There's also drama in, down in Houston right now, and that goes along with James Harden. James Harden's campaign to leave the team became very public last night following the Rockets' second consecutive blowout loss to the Lakers. Harden. 